Hey folks, um, so we are three minutes over, we can get started. Welcome everyone to SIG API. Uh, this is November 28th. Um, I'll share the record, um, the meeting doc on the chat if everyone can put their name uh, in the attendees. And then looks like we have a feature life cycle proposal that we have been discussing here um, for the last few meetings. Um, Ed, do you want to talk over um, that proposal? Hi. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, an initial, I will say a draft, but we can start uh, having discussion over it. Uh, it. It talks, its main focus is how to, at a high level, how to how to propose a new feature. It's, it's first of all, it focuses on features and how they progress in the project from from the proposal of the feature until it it is either graduated or uh, dropped. And even if it's graduated, uh, what are the options to to drop them after a while if they, if it is found uh, um, that that there is no use for it anymore or stuff or things like that? Um, that's it. I guess it's 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 a base of the discussion. So if you have any thoughts or you would like to add things, you, you don't agree with something, we could, uh, let's, let's discuss it. We could discuss some of the things here and some of the in as a review, as you wish. So my, my just to clarify, yeah. uh, I, it was not my intention to, to go over this document to uh, line by line. Um, I mean, I'm fine with, waiting a bit so people will have time to go over it. And yeah. uh, and then we can, if there are topics that are raised there, we can discuss them in this in this forum. But if you want to already discuss something specific, you, you are welcome to raise it. And yeah, the, sure. the, only, the only thing that I wanted to comment uh, in general is that you, there is also the, the PR that you sent I think, and uh, and and it's 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 somehow related, but it's like it's in parallel. I don't know how to what is the exact relation, but there is a relation. So, so the the topic of this uh, having something stable of an API and this topic is is they are related and at the same time separated. So, yeah, I I, I think it. This will provide, like the proposal you have, will provide a guideline of how to graduate a feature. And then, you know, once you have that guideline and you are working on that feature, the other proposal for the um, stability of API will provide guidance as to what to take care of during the implementation of, of that feature. So I, I think the relation is, that both of them help uh, bring forward a feature. It's just that the guidance provided are at a different, uh, you know, different life cycle, different points in, in that feature development. So I can definitely see a relation. But um, one thing I wanted to discuss here is I did not dig into this proposal entirely. I just skimmed over it. And as you said, it talks about uh, <clears throat> the, the overall guidance of how the feature should graduate or maybe discontinued. Uh, I think in practice, what happens is this feature graduation is somehow coupled with uh, feature flags and there are use cases where, so we, we want both, we want to bring in the feature as alpha experiment behind a feature flag, 
but once it graduates to beta and um, GA, there might be cases where we need to keep the flag or maybe the flag evolves into different um, usages. So that's what I wanted to um, to discuss. Okay, so... As in... Yeah, go ahead. No, no, if you want to continue, please. Sorry. Yeah, so for example, let's say we are bringing in a feature which might have a performance trade-off, right? So in order to get the benefit of that feature, a user might have to trade off um, some performance and that's uh, a user decision. So even if that feature has gone to GA, uh, we might want to keep the flag so that a user has the ability to turn on the feature in cases where they are okay with the uh, performance or maybe higher resource utilization like memory or CPU. And they can turn it off when they don't need it. Need it. The, right now, the only flag that is uh, discussed is the feature flag. So maybe we continue to keep the feature flag even after GA or that feature flag gets deprecated and in GA it turns into a new uh, configuration flag. Um, yeah, that's like, I think it's a good, uh, it's a good observation and because we already see in some scenario, I think it was in the root, rootless and root uh, operation, the feature gate became a configuration flag and not a feature, not a, not a, a guard or a evaluation or experiment feature. So I think, I think we should keep the, we should keep the, the distinction between what the feature gate means, which is uh, it protects at runtime from uh, not grad non graduated features activation and the and a configuration that will activate or, uh, the functionality of the feature itself. So, like the what you just said is, I will expect that the implementation, if there if the specific feature is not is can be set on or off then there will be other fields that will control it. And based on those fields, the implementation will be either, uh, will do the needed in order not to affect the performance. So I think we should separate but between the two and maybe it deserves a note somewhere here to make sure that the, there is, this distinction is kept. Otherwise, we'll have to keep, we'll keep the feature gate for forever and there will be no way to distinguish between no way to to say for example that the feature needs to be dropped and all of this all of the mechanics behind the uh, feature life cycle it will be you will just embed them, embed them into two different things and will not be able to control it um uh, and sorry i think your voice has started to faint a little bit. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I get the gist of it. The The real crux of the problem, I think, is that feature gates themselves are a Boolean, so enabling the feature and disabling the feature. And in most cases where there is higher resource utilization or performance uh, uh, impact, you would still want this behavior, whether to turn on the feature or turn off, um, if there is no uh, other configuration detail. So I, I think where, uh, where the confusion lies is, how will we transition from that feature gate to uh, that configuration gate? Um, and And I think that's where we might, have to do a little bit of brainstorming. So for example, if a feature gets um, a feature gate right in alpha and beta and that, that feature gate is deprecated in GA, then in the GA release, we have to have two flags, uh, the feature gate as well as the configuration flag and somehow transparently, uh, you know, 
change the feature flag into the configuration flag so that users get a good experience on upgrade. Yeah, so it's I, I we need I'll we need to make it clear that the, there is no such transition. It's like uh, the feature gate is only focused on protecting uh, the re release stages, and that's it. This is the it's uh, it's highly coupled to the release flow. Uh, it's not intended to be a configuration for enabling or disabling features. Uh, when it's graduated, so this needs to be clear. So if someone needs something like that, and and their current, let's say that they have a feature without any fields at all, they need to consider this. So if they will want to have uh, let the users uh, enable or disable this feature in when it graduates, then they need to add a configuration that controls this regardless of what of the feature gate itself. This needs to be clear from the beginning. So I guess we should I should add a note or a clarification here. Yeah. Uh, I... usually, usually this is by the way, usually this is not a problem because most of the features do come with some configuration fields. Not all, but some most of them I think they come with. So it it could be clear from the configuration from the other configuration fields if a feature needs to be enabled uh it's activated or not but yes you're right that this needs to be taken into account yeah uh i might have an example to help you out uh so we found one pr i need to go dig it up but I, after this call i'll put it uh on uh, in in the notes here um where it's the console log logs feature. Because of that, we need to add some additional memory to word launcher uh, pods. And it, I think we might want to have a feature where, sorry, we might want to have a configuration flag where, uh, you know, user can disable that. So that could be a first example of, of this um, that, it can implement. Um, I'll put it here in the notes. Yes, but if you if you can also comment somewhere on the about exactly this uh, subject on this PR, it will be great. So I can add yeah. some. I can find somewhere where to put this clarification. Yeah. It's important. Definitely, I'll do that. Okay, I think uh, that's all I had regarding um, comments for this proposal. I I think this will be a really good enhancement um, for feature development and, and the overall stability. So um, thanks for uh, putting together this document. Um, regarding the API review uh, document and proposal, so I'm coming back from PTOs. I did not get a chance to to move that forward. Uh, but um, does anyone know what's the timeline for uh, the 1.3, sorry, 1.2 release? What I was thinking is ideally, if we can get uh, the proposal um, merged before 1.2, um, that will give us some time to, you know, um, exercise whatever we have promised in the proposal for that release. And, um, you know, we can improve the process from there on. I think there is a there is a document that describes the releases in the in the community, I think, repo. Oh, there you go. Thanks, uh, Lubo. Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a release. Uh, see. Oh. 
Okay, so it's proposed, like it seems to be two weeks out from today. So yeah, I, I think I can get the proposal in shape um, next week and uh, talk to some of the, the maintainers to take a look. Um, hopefully we can make a uh, progress in next couple. Yeah, I, I think that's all I had. Um, I I think there are some more uh, topics to be continued from previous discussion. I'll bring them uh, up for for the next meeting along with the revised proposal. Uh, Okay. Uh, does anyone else have uh, topics or discussion today? No, just just a question. Maybe I don't think one point two is in December. I right? that sounds too too early. Like we had doesn't sound right. It's an alpha, and I don't know when is the when is the feature free. Uh, feature freeze is. End of Jan uh, January. I uh, don't know what the alpha okay. means even. <laughs> what What is the alpha, Lubo? It's uh, allowed to testing and provide a feedback. Okay. And in beta, I'm not I'm not getting feedback. Or or what is the idea? I mean, yeah, sure. Is it is, is it? Uh, I mean, in future. You know, Sorry. No, I mean, it's two points in time where you can grab the release and get different feature set. So, ah, okay, by the users, I get, I get it. Okay. Yeah. So, be, for example, for 1.1, we had a feature for a uh, feature freeze in uh, um, November, not, uh, no, October. So, it's already two months uh, or one month uh, at least of work uh, and features in, in, the, in the main. So yes, I see. Okay. Okay. So general, sorry. Okay. Sorry. No, no. I'm just saying that you we can put anything, any features, including the uh, design documents, and I mean, I think like we could consider the this these policies as features as well. So you could put them in and think until January, the end of January, like until the feature freeze. I think it's valid to have them in. Yeah, that's what I was going to say is since I got the dates wrong, thanks for correcting. Um, I think we might be able to try out like as soon as that proposal is agreed upon, we might even be able to try out the, the policy in this release, which is 1.2 um, and see how we go. Maybe do a little bit of retrospect um, after 1.2 and, you know, try and improve the pain point. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, I got things corrected there.
Okay. Uh, so I think for the next call, I will uh, address all the comments for that say KPI PR and I'll go through um, review uh, this feature lifecycle proposal and put comments there as well. Okay. Well, uh, j just a small retro from this uh, from this from these discussions that we have in this meeting. I think we should, uh, if we have action items, first of all, we sh it will be preferable to have action item because otherwise we will drag it forever. Uh, so um, I think last time, like in like two weeks back or something like that, we did have action item and it worked. <laughs> I feel I felt responsible that I need to do something and and uh, and it it did work and it it's also clarifying what is on the on the queue. Yeah, we we'll should try it, and hopefully Definitely. the the item should be small enough so we'll manage them not. Yeah, definitely. So I think for this, uh, let me take action items. Uh, review feature life cycle proposal. And um, address comments for. I think, uh, yeah, I, I think that that will be mostly, that will take a lot of my time. Um, we, we are missing out on going ahead and actually bringing uh, API review PRs onto this call. So if anyone has free time to um, triage a couple of PRs and see if we can find some pattern and bring it up for discussion. Uh, if not, we can do it next week as well. Uh, we, can, we can set like a limit and that, that will have, let's say uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes to do that and, and that's it. And then it will be more appealing. Uh, so do we have, this meeting is for one hour. I don't remember. Yeah. So, so we it's over now. Like we can put 15 minutes. We can start with 15 minutes and then see how it goes. So I think the way I've been doing is um, the PRs. Hey, I'm not sure if uh, we it, it would be helpful to like review on the call or not. I am and I'm not one hundred percent sure. The way I have been doing it is before the call, I go look at one or two PRs and then I deep dive in, into it and find some patterns. And then if I have something interesting, I'll come um share it on the call here. That's how I was thinking of doing it, but if if everyone feels that going through um, the PRs live um, on on this call will be helpful. Then then we can certainly do it that way. Uh, so maybe we can do it in somewhere in the middle, like uh, check what are the PRs that are we should go over them, and then and then either assign to people to to ask people to review them or prepare a list here. And the, the action item will be to review them until the next next meeting and then discuss it. But we can do yeah, like that's that. that's a great point. Yeah. Uh do, do you want to do that today on this call? Um I'm not prepared, but I, we do have 30 minutes. Um we can certainly take a look. Maybe just let's let's do today only check if we have a list can identify uh new PRs that are sure.
So this one seems to be work in progress. Actually, I uh, I have a question for the first one, Eddie. Uh, is it not counterproductive to make this a plugin, but at the same time keep the binary inside the cube beard? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a balance thing. <laughs> um, this is like a specific, not really related to the API, I say, but uh, we have been raised this question. I think he answered it, but. The, there is a balance between having a plugin that is that is external and having the binary that uh, like that, that's it's an extension of libvirt and to keep that binary outside is very costly in in sense of uh, working on it. So in terms of balance, we prefer to keep it uh, for the for now. Uh, closely related to live like consider them the same like uh, when you release a new live you will take also the that binary that it comes with Do, don't you make more work for you uh, because you don't you make more work for you because now you need to also maintain the plugin and no but you don't like... we, we don't maintain the that binary, we don't we do nothing, right? It's part of the mechanism today, and the plugin itself, um, it's it's a way. To, so someone could, ideally, the plugin should have been in a, another repo, but it's like another stage. So the current situation is that if, uh, if anyone wants to touch the plugin, then uh, touch that functionality is outside of the core thing. So. We do not expect changes to happen in the core, so it's only in the in the outside, I would say. Uh, and so, from my internet's point of view, I don't think it's more; it's, it should be less. But uh, that's that's it. The the idea is that uh, the the main point I think of this plugin feature is that other in the community, people that are interested in adding functionality or changing the existing functionality, they can do it themselves and they can contribute it through through, uh, through their own repositories, like their own projects, or even they can keep it uh, closed source if they prefer. That's the, that was the point because there were many, many people, many community members asking for all kinds of tweaks and changes and we have a problem to answer all of them so we thought that this is the this will be a good solution to to have bo both in the, uh, both like having maintaining a small set of things and allowing the community to extend it as they wish hope that's clear uh, i don't know if i was convincing but that was the idea and you are right about the binary, but the cost is too high to, to invest in it now. Uh, this is, uh, by the way, the, if we go back to what we were supposed to do here, is that this, uh, this proposal says, uh, it more or less goes through the, Actually, there is a proposal to to, to do deprecation for the existing past this feature. So there is a there is an existing configuration API inside the, inside covert covert that the proposal says let's deprecate it, and then we'll have an alternative using the a new API through something through the, these plugins to to bring back the functionality. That's it, that's the idea. And this PR here that you are seeing here is the first phase that uh, it adds all the uh, deprecation warnings on the on the feature gate and on, I think on the feature gate and the fields that uh, this is going to be deprecated in, in one of the next versions.
Okay, got it. And uh, so once this is deprecated, the idea is that the whole field will be removed, right? Um, no, the fields, I think the, um, that's a better question. I think the fields, this, I think we spoke about that one. You, you even mentioned it. I think the fields themselves, are, I think they are not supposed to be removed, but this is like very, it's very blurred to me if we can remove it from the from the types or not. I think I put I raised the question also in the my in the proposal that I posted because the from what I saw from uh, from the Kubernetes API they never removed I, I didn't see them removing fields maybe I missed one they always left the fields they renamed them like they changed the name for example this past will become deprecated past while where the JSON remains the same, the JSON name there past is the same. And that's okay. left forever. The I'm not really clear 100% uh, uh, if this is a must or not, because there, there, main, there was uh, some references there to a bug that existed or the, uh, not a bug, it's a behavior that they didn't treat it. So once it is persisted in the data in the database, in the store, um, it's if you if you remove the field, something happens. But really, it's like I had hard time understanding it. Uh, maybe we should uh, explore it in more with uh, asking in the API machinery Kubernetes channel about it, uh, things like that. But you could you could look at the links in my in my proposal, then you can uh, if you if you understand what is going on there and why it is not allowed to remove the fields, then um, let me know. In general, the proposal says that and and uh, the proposal says that you we can that we have the alpha and the beta. So uh, we can consider this past uh, deprecation as alpha. Um, what happens with beta, it's more, a pro it's more, uh, it's like a, an, another stage. Maybe I should not have said anything about this. <laughs> it just complicates things. Anyway, removal of a field in general is uh, somehow questionable and I'm not really sure I understand what are the implications? So that's why for now it's not deleted. But it okay, be. makes sense. Okay, so what I have done is I have a queue for action items and I have put this here. Uh, as we go through these calls, if anyone wants to pick up uh, this, uh, you know, we can pick it up from here. I, I think what would be really nice to do is, um, you know, pull up a, a Golang playground. And in terms of these JSON serialization and deserialization, understand what will break if we remove a field. Um, so that will be part one of understanding the implications. And then part two will be understanding in uh, HAD side, um, what will happen in in the storage if a field is removed. Um, I think there we might have to talk to SIG API machinery and understand the implications. I can, I can tell that uh, if you set an, an, an attribute with a pointer and the JSON tag on it empty, it, it will not be serialized. You won't see it in the JSON. No, but it's not the storage. The serialization yeah, is- Yeah, I'm not talking the... about the storage. Uh, it was, the, the, he asked about uh, the serialization. Um, so what we'll have to uh, work with is both serialization and deserialization. And in that consider, uh, JSON where the field is used and 
JSON where the field is not used. So I think we will have four combinations of um, what to try. And based on what um, you're suggesting, if the field is used in JSON, but it's not present in the API, then it will be ignored. If the field is not used, but it's present in the API, even then it will be ignored. So as far as the serialization goes, removal is uh, okay. Is that correct understanding of what you were suggesting? Uh, I didn't suggest uh, something concrete. I just said that uh, you asked about the serialization. So if you have an attribute with a pointer and a bit empty, JSON tag, it will, you won't see it after a serialization or deserialization. Yeah, uh, no, that, that part makes sense. What I was suggesting is that we need to, uh, we need to come up with um, four scenarios, right? Two where, uh, JSON has this field and API is present, API is not present, and two where JSON does not have this field and API is present and API is not present. So four such scenarios and we need to see whether um, serialization works in all of them. Just, just one note uh, is I think we spoke about it in the past. From I think we uh, we said that from alpha, we are not. There is no commitment. Uh, this can break. I mean, if you have a if you decided to use this in your lab, use the alpha in your lab, and you and you are going to do something, even an upgrade or whatever, and this is no longer in use. It it can in the in a in a future version, it can either, it can break you, like it can either block your VM in this case, because it's a VM configuration, or it can, uh, it can be ignored. You don't know what will happen, but that's the, when you are in alpha, this is, this is the risk you are taking by, by using this, this, these features. So, just just yeah. to be clear that we are we know uh, in which area we are talking about because what you have said everything is correct but it I think it depends the the level of uh, pedantic treatment of this is is depends where we are in the in the flow like in beta I will say what you said is totally correct and any any up any um, forward for back, backward compatibility, for uh, for uh, compatibility, this is I don't remember how it's uh, it's named. That is important. From beta to GA, it needs to be supported, and you should yeah. you cannot do no. you cannot do break it like this. Yeah, no, I was not suggesting that this PR is breaking it, and we should reconsider or not. What I was trying to say is we've talked about how removing fields is a question mark, right? So in order to get to an answer, whether this is safe or not, there are two uh, things that come to my mind that we need to uh, check for. One is the safety in terms of serialization and deserialization, and other is um, safety in terms of what happens to the data stored in HCD. Uh, so I was just trying to comment on uh, if anyone wants to pick up this item, those are the two things we might want to uh, check for. Uh, I did not mean to say that this yeah. proposal needs to take into consideration. No, those it's, uh, now, I, now it's clear what you meant. By the way, it's, I don't think the removing fig is safe in GAPIs. In GAPIs, I would say it's uh, it's not even it cannot be done. But in I think it's only relevant for the for for the experimental uh, stages. Like, like for example, uh, the, in alpha. the fields are belonging to alpha or uh, ah, beta the features. CDR. The okay. entire API. Yeah, I mean okay. this this will be in the VM or VMI. 
API yeah, which yeah. has G eight, right? Yeah, yeah, I understand you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh I think this is uh this PR is a good example of how things need to happen. And I'm assuming that the proposal has gone through API review process and it has been merged, and that's why we are seeing this uh, uh, PR, work in progress PR raised. So I, I, I think we are already following that process here. Um, it's good to see. If you Going want to, back... if someone, if someone wants here to review the original, uh, please do even though it was merged, in my opinion, it was, it was merged prematurely, but, uh, but, but still, if you have comments on the original one, it's... Uh... Is it this one? Uh, yes, I think so, yes. It's like yes. Uh, this is the proposal to deprecate, uh, yeah, replace it. Okay. I'm going to queue it here. By the way, we did fail with uh, with what we said we will do. <laughs> we said we'll go over the the PRs, but we're not delve into them too much. <laughs> yeah, so that's I think that's what happens, right? Uh, the discussions are initially uh, evolving into all different kinds of direction. I think once we do this two or three times, uh, this will give us chance to understand and, you know, put guidelines around around the discussion. So for the first two or three times, or maybe even more, I do expect uh, this to happen because I've tried this internally uh, with some other uh, things as well, and th that was the experience. Okay. It just when you put the list here, it's 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 a bit frightening what is. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> how many times they are touching the? How many times that we are touching the API? It's uh, it's alarming. Yes, definitely. Uh, let me look at a couple more. Let's see. So I think we should find a way to. you know, ignore the look good to me and approve once. Why? Because do you think they are, you think they are, uh, they are reviewing it? No, don't, don't think about it. They are, they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they didn't review it in the sense that you want to review it. So, but yes, you could, you could, I mean, here you will see all of the open ones. So maybe we should even see the, um, uh, Actually, if you one? think about it, we should have a, a new a new label that says uh, that it was uh, it it is or it was processed by the review of of this sig. I don't know if yeah. uh, maybe that should be done. Yeah, I I think what we could do is. So an alternative, I don't know if this is a good idea or not, is as soon as we review um, an API, remove this label. Uh, that will help, uh, you know, take it off the list. But I, I think it, the bot will fight us and bring it back anyway. Yeah, no, it's, you can, we can just add another one. It's, we can do yeah. it manually, so it will be easy. Just. We need just to ask to to add another label uh, that is that is that we can add, uh, and then then it will be clear that it will pass through. I don't know if uh, maybe maybe the the action item is to check how Kubernetes are doing. I guess they are doing something like that, right? Uh, Kubernetes process, or... process is really uh, very streamlined. So I think what they are doing is they have uh, 
a board like a github board where anyone requesting uh an api review it will end up in the backlog of that uh, board and then from there uh, maintainers will pick a uh, few prs every week uh, to you know review and and put it in in the queue sorry put it approve it and move it forward okay. i i maybe think have... for sorry i just thought I, that I think... maybe they have the mechanism to label and stuff like that that we can just take this part not everything i see i don't okay yeah we can take a look at that uh i think the label is sig api um, review or something like that um i'll take a look and see if we can adopt the same label okay i i must drop to another meeting sorry uh if there is something else that i can help please please leave me a message and i'll try to i'll try to okay. take care of it no problem. So I think for the next call, uh, we'll reserve a few minutes to go through this list. This list needs some uh, tension, so um, it'll be good to you know go through it and time box ourselves for a few minutes. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you very awesome. much. Awesome. Thanks, folks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.